In geometry, Den introduced two examples of planes, a semi-Euclidean geometry and a non-legendrian geometry, that have infinitely many lines parallel to a given one that pass through a given point, but where the sum of the angles of a triangle is at least π. A similar phenomenon occurs in hyperbolic geometry, except that the sum of the angles of a triangle is less than π. Den's examples use a non-Archimedean field, so that the Archimedean axiom is violated. They were introduced by Max Den 1900 and discussed by Hilbert 1902 p.127 to 130 or p. 42 to 43 in some later editions. Topic Den's non-Archimedean field omega t to construct his geometries. Den used a non-Archimedean ordered Pythagorean field omega t, a Pythagorean closure of the field of rational functions R t, consisting of the smallest field of real valued functions on the real line containing the real constants, the identity function t, taking any real number to itself, and closed under the operation omega square root one plus omega two. The field omega t is ordered by putting x greater than y if the function x is larger than y for sufficiently large reals. An element x of omega t is called finite if m topic <laughs> dense semi-euclidean geometry The set of all pairs x, y, where x and y are any possibly infinite elements of the field omega t, and with the usual metric x, y equals x two plus y two. Display style x y equals sqrt x caret two plus y caret two, which takes values in omega t, gives a model of Euclidean geometry. The parallel postulate is true in this model, but if the deviation from the perpendicular is infinitesimal meaning smaller than any positive rational number, the intersecting lines intersect at a point that is not in the finite part of the plane. Hence, if the model is restricted to the finite part of the plane, points x, y with x and y finite, a geometry is obtained in which the parallel postulate fails but the sum of the angles of a triangle is π. This is Den's semi-Euclidean geometry. It is discussed in Rucker pages 91–2. Topic: Den's non-legendrian geometry. In the same paper, Den also constructed an example of a non-legendrian geometry where there are infinitely many lines through a point not meeting another line, but the sum of the angles in a triangle exceeds π. Riemann's elliptic geometry over omega t consists of the projective plane over omega t, which can be identified with the affine plane of points x, y, 1, together with the line at infinity, and has the property that the sum of the angles of any triangle is greater than π. The non-legendrian geometry consists of the points x, y. One of this affine subspace such that t x and t are finite, whereas above t is the element of omega t represented by the identity function. 
Legendre's theorem states that the sum of the angles of a triangle is at most π, but assumes Archimedes's axiom, and Den's example shows that Legendre's theorem need not hold if Archimedes' axiom is dropped. <laughs> 